It's all about the mullet. Well, before we get on to the mulleting, uh, hit the low tide just about right. So I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, flatch checking just to see if there's anybody around. It's a bit windy, but because it's low tide, it's, used, it's pretty good visibility. So I'm just gonna work this flats pretty slowly and see if I can spot anything. Okay, no action on the flats. So back to the mullet run. Now it's just a matter of tracking them down. All right, so we're on the third island with no mullet. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep bouncing around till I find some. Brutal. Temperature drop and everything just leaves, gone. But we'll see if we can find some. There's some. There's four by seven. So that's an option. This is kind of my hidden basin area, sandy, so see them around here a lot. But that would be tough to get those guys. Be nice to find a bigger school around. All right, uh, I think I found the mullet. They're in this kind of basin, and then I see this real milky water, so I think there's some in shallow, which will be good. Uh, I'm gonna start with the uh, seven foot net. Haven't thrown this thing in a long time, so I gotta straighten it out. And then uh, if they're being very difficult and far out, then I'll throw the, uh, the five foot net. So let's see what we can do. Although I'm not sure what I'm gonna be using these for. It's pretty windy out there. They're being, they're being very wary. I don't know, like they've been thrown on her before or something, but they're just staying all the way around me. Hey, 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 what do I see there? Mullet that's been outsmarted by me. The magic of the seven foot net, baby. Hey, hey, hey. You thought you were deep enough. Nice, nice, nice. One thing whenever you're dealing with mullet, Make sure you bring a, a lid, unlike me, because they jump. So we're gonna do this. Use my five foot net. Slowly bring these guys out, one at a time. Like that, like that. that shark well that's that was the original plan was to take some mullet and uh, sight fish for sharks on the flats but it got pretty windy and now the tide is up so I'm gonna drag this around in this channel and just uh, see what we could do get one of my volunteers out there we go Gonna go through the roof of his mouth there. There's kind of an indentation. That's a soft spot. If you hit it right, it just goes right through, but it's nice and sturdy. And we're gonna let him go and swim. Find us a tooth critter. I think, I think we got something. I think, I think, I think. I think. Or did it spit it? I 
or is it like right underneath me yep it's right underneath me that's what I thought ah oh. and either broke me off or pulled the hook dang it What happened? Ah, oh, pull the hook. Dang it! Uh-oh, whoa, uh-oh. I think he wants it. Whoa! Yeah! Get it! Get it, you lazy! Oh, I think he got it that time. Uh, doesn't know he's hooked. Oh, bombers! You gotta be kidding me what happened there. No way I pulled the hook. I don't see any hook trailer. They might have just... Oh, it took the wire. Yeah, he just rolled himself up until it broke it. Dang it! Well, this is probably not the best idea, especially you saw how that uh, shark reacted, chasing it all around and just biting whatever. Hopefully I don't lose this thing. Uh, I've just got some light 20 pound. A little bit of wire will make it last a little bit longer, but I still want to be able to break it off. And just a little uh, one out live bait hook. So I got one more mullet left. I think I got one more mullet left. Yeah, I got one more mullet left. This boy. So we'll put him down. Send that camera with him and we'll get to see what he sees eek oh please don't eat my camera don't eat my camera uh oh uh oh 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 please oh oh don't eat the camera oh no oh no oh no Oh, please break. Oh, please break. Give me the camera back. Oh. Don't eat the camera. Please be a camera on the end there. Oh, yeah. Yay. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, I think it, uh, might have took a bite out of it. That's eh, a bit bent there. Nice! Alrighty, I think I'm gonna call it an early day. Sun's still up, but it's getting a bit choppy and windy out there. It's gonna be a wet ride home. Uh, wow, it's kind of a tough day, except for those last mold I just found, but uh, we had a cold front push through, plus these winds picked up. And the local fish don't like that on the flats and the back country and stuff like that. Uh, when you get those big temperature drops, they'll head off to the deeper water. Kind of like with the uh, mullet did around here. They were in those deep channels along the bottom. Uh, it's just more normalized temperatures the deeper the water. So they'll wait it out and then come back once it starts warming up. So yeah, 
got to do what you got to do. But if you find the bait, you're going to find those fish. So that worked out. Hopefully that uh, underwater footage worked out. Uh, didn't have a lot of sun, but uh, hopefully it's okay. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.